take home message I'd like you to get from this lesson is how hair cells are essentially our analog to digital converters. Hair cells are the cell that is perhaps most responsible for hearing. The mechanical motion on the basilar membrane needs to be converted into a one or a zero, a nerve spike or no nerve spike. That doesn't sound like a oh, very complete system for encoding something, but when you consider that we've got a roughly 100 billion neurons in our central nervous system, you can imagine that the coordinated activity of billions of neurons leads to a complex enough pattern that it can represent Led Zeppelin or Kendrick Lamar. There'd be enough differentiation in that pattern that the brain would recognize a difference. And the little guys that are responsible for all of this are the 3,500, roughly, inner hair cells that are doing all that bouncing up and down so that they can convert this mechanical activity into either a spike or no spike. The hair cell would look like this, and of course it's got its nucleus there, like all cells do. And the cool part, I mean super cool part, is that the cilia, stereocilia, the little hairs at the top of the cell, are connected by these almost unimaginably small little springs called tip links. When the hair cells, stereocilia, the little hairs, when they wave back and forth, the tip links expand and contract. When they expand and contract, what that allows them to do is open and close these pores on the hairs. The opening and closing of these pores, which are ion channels, allow charged ions to come flooding in in one phase of a wave cycle and then be locked out in the next phase. So they're constantly going in and out with each deflection of the stereocilia. Think about that. If you're listening to a 1K sine wave, your little stereocilia and your inner hair cells are going back and forth a thousand times a second. And each cycle of that wave allows a new bit of information into the cell. Once that information gets into the cell, the exchange of neurotransmitters causes the vesicles, those are little packets of neurotransmitters, sitting, I like to think of them like little cars, Volkswagen Beetles to be precise, sitting in a parking lot filled with people, like clown cars. <laughs> so there they are, the vesicles are sitting at the bottom of the cell and they've got all their little neurotransmitters and they're just waiting for some action. And the action is when our ion exchange is happening across these pores and that exchange of ions changes the chemical makeup inside the cell so that the vesicles attach to the base of the hair cell attach to this little membrane down here, open the membrane, and here go these little green dots, otherwise known as neurotransmitters, into the gap. Now they're outside of the cell. Waiting on the other side of the cell, anywhere from six to 10 auditory nerves. That's supposed to be the very end of an auditory nerve and that's its axon, but these are the dendrites that receive those neurotransmitters. They in turn will open up and allow those neurotransmitters to come inside the cell and that's gonna generate an action potential, a spike down the length of the axon, of the, of, of the auditory nerve. What we have is graded activity. Graded mean it goes along a continuum from very, very soft to very, very loud or very high pitch to very low pitch. Graded activity then becomes digital activity, essentially binary, either an action potential, a spike, or none, a one or a zero. And in a very complex system, that's information. Those little guys sitting in your ear, you've had them your whole life, are there doing their little job. And if they're doing their job right now, they're listening to me talk. And if they're not, you've got the mute button in and you're listening to something else. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this drawing and I hope this makes true wonder of our neural anatomy of, of sound and how sound happens and how sound is intimately linked to the physiology of our bodies. I hope this increases your appreciation of that. Mm -hmm.